Hi, I'm Heba, and today I'm going to take you through a level 2 fitness ballet workout. You don't need any equipment, you just need yourself and a mat and a bit of space. And you may not even need a mat, you could just use a carpet or a towel if you like. So let's go ahead and get started. Can we start with the feet in first position? And by now you should know that first position means turn out with the legs together. And we're going to start with a few plies. Keeping the back nice and straight. You're just going to inhale, open the knees. Exhale, stretch and squeeze the inner thighs together as you stretch. Just warming up your hips for that turn out position because we're doing a lot of that today. Our focus in this session is going to be mainly targeting the glutes and we're going to focus also on the back muscles. So all the muscles in the back of our body is going to be the focus of this workout. And you should know that whenever your legs are turned out like this, you're automatically switching on these back glute muscles. So let's go ahead and do five more of these plies. Four, three, two, one. Good. Second position plies now. Inhale, bend the knees and exhale to stretch. Breathe in, bend and breathe out, stretch. Again, your focus is on keeping a heavy tailbone and not letting your bottom stick out. You want to go straight down the ribs, staying directly on top of the pelvis. Inhale, exhale. And as you bend your knees, feel your sitting bones kind of opening. And as you stretch your legs, feel the sitting bones coming close together. And letting that transfer up through your core muscles. So nice wide base, keeping the heels down for now. And we're going to do five more. Five. Four, three, two, and one. Good. Bring yourself back to first position. We're going to do releves now. So you're going to come up onto your toes and then come back down again. Up onto the toes, down. Lift, knees really nice and straight. Feel that axial length through the trunk of the body, up through the crown of the head. Your shoulders nice and relaxed. And your shoulder blades melting down the back. So just before your calves start to get a little bit of a burn, we're going to go ahead and do a little sequence. So we're going to go plie, lift the heels, stretch the legs, lower the heels. Plie, lift the heels, stretch the legs, lower the heels. Bend, lift, stretch, and lower. Bend, lift, stretch, lower. Bend, lift, stretch, Lower one more time, bend and lift, stretch. Now we reverse it. We're going to go up, bend the knees, heels come down, then stretch. So we're just rewinding the, mo the movement. Heels down, stretch. We go up, bend, heels down, stretch, up, bend, heels down. Let's do two more of those. So it sticks up, bend, heels down, stretch. One more time, up, bend, heels down. Stretch. Go wide again to second position. Same thing. Don't go too wide because then when you come up onto your toes, you'll feel like you're slipping. So inhale, bend. Lift the heels. Stretch the legs. Lower the heels. Bend. Lift the heels. Stretch and lower. Bend. Lift. Stretch. Lower. Bend. Lift. Stretch. Lower. Two more. So we're doing six of each sequence. One more time. Bend. Lift, stretch, we rewind the motion, we go up first, and bend, heels down, then stretch. Up, bend, heels down, stretch. Lift, bend, heels down, stretch. Fourth one, up, bend, heels down, stretch. Two more, this is really good for coordination. Your ankles and knees moving separately, because they usually like to move together. Heels down, stretch one last time. Up, bend, heels down, Stretch. Now hold your second position and stay here. We're going to do stuff with the upper body to warm it up, but at the same time your legs are going to hold this pose isometrically working. So roll your shoulders back, big circles. Roll your shoulders forward. Exhale. 
Anytime you need a break, stretch your legs and come up to standing. Reach the arms out to the side and just glide your ribs over to one side, come back center. Glide your ribs over to the other side, come back center. We reach, middle, reach, reach, reach. You're being pulled one way, you're being pulled the other. Three, two, one. Start to rotate your arms so you're mobilizing your shoulders as well in this. The side that you're reaching towards is the side with the palm going up. And you can add some head rotations as well. So you just turn your head, center, turn your head and center, turn towards the palm that's straight up. Five, the legs should be really burning by now. Three, two, one, and relax. And whenever your legs are burning so much, don't let it transfer up to your upper body. Don't let your whole body tense up. Try and remain relaxed. If you can't help it, that's when you need a break. Okay, so next we're gonna turn around and we're gonna stand at the back of the mat and this time we're gonna step into our lunges. So you're gonna step into a lunge and then come up to standing. Step into a lunge with the other leg and come up to standing. And just keep switching legs. You may wanna lift your arms up to a ballet position, but as you lift your arms up, just make sure that your ribs don't kind of pop out, they stay nice and heavy. And as you step forward, try not to lean forward with your trunk. Like we said in our level one video, the trunk stays vertical and it stays centered over the back leg. So you want to be really nice and upright. We're going to go for another four of these steps. And hold now. Front leg, you're going to balance. You're going to lift your back leg, keep it long and extended, and your whole trunk is leaning forward a little bit to line up with your back leg. You're going to bend the standing leg and stretch. Bend, stretch, bend, stretch. And I want you to think about your hip, ankle, and knee alignment. These joints should be tracking forward. Your knee will want to collapse inward typically. If it is, you need to hold on to the wall or a chair or anything. And your standing leg bottom, the glute, should really feel like it's working now. And maybe even the muscles in the lower leg as well. You want to feel like they're waking up as well. And we're going to do little pulses now. So pulse down, two, three, four, five, six, feeling it here, seven, eight, one more, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Go directly into your reverse lunge. Keep the leg that was working in front of you and pulse here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One more eight, keeping the weight on the back leg. Two, three, shoulders down, five, six, seven, eight. Shift your weight back to the front leg so it's not over yet. We're gonna take that back leg now Turn it out into an attitude position. An attitude position is just a leg that's bent and rolled out in its socket. So lift, lift, lift in tiny little pulses from the bottom. You're lifting without arching your back, without doing this. Keep the core tight at the front. It's the standing leg that's going to be really working. It's slightly bent. And unless you want to work on your balance, I do recommend you hold on to something for this one because right now the fatigue is kicking in and it is a little bit harder to hold your balance. Let's go five more. Five, four, three, two, one. Rest. Okay. So we start from the beginning again, all to do the same on the other side. Step lunges into standing leg, one leg squats, into pulses on the lunge, back to attitude pulses. You ready? So stand at the back of the mat, ready for your step lunges again. Kick and lunge, step back. Alternating the legs again. Five, 
फ्रेश एनर्जी Let's go another four, four and three and two and one. Okay, step forward to the front leg now. Lift your back leg nice and long. Bend and stretch. One, two, three. Focusing on the alignment. Four, tracking knee, hip, ankle. Five, six. Holding the core softly at the front. Seven. And long leg at the back. One, another eight, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The standing bottom now is working. And little pulses, we go down. Two, three, the knee is pulsing. Five, six, seven, one more eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Go back to your reverse lunge into the pulses here. One, the arms can be down or up as you like. Four, five, six. Just make sure these are deep and tiny. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Go back to the standing leg. Stretch your back leg. Bend it a little bit now and lift from the bottom in attitude position again, keeping your supporting leg and standing leg a little bit soft. Lift one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Your hip bones trying to square forward. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Two more eights and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and last eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, rest. Well done. Okay, so we should feel a lot of burn happening in the backs of the legs. We're gonna go back to our second position now. Take your second position, stretch. Feel the inner thigh stretching as you open the knees out to the side. So you go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Second eight, one. These are four, four eights. Four, five, six, seven. Third eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Last eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So you're gonna go down into your second position, plie. And then you're gonna try and come up to a passe position. So we go down, up to passe. Down, passe. Down, passe. The arms are optional, but they are working a little bit. And they do give you a little bit of balance when the arms are open like this. Try and be light with your foot and use your toes to spring off this leg. Use that foot to spring off to come back to passe position. The passe is just a little light toe tap against your leg. One more. From passe, go reverse curtsy, up to passe again, and balance. So we go down and lift. Down, lift. Down, lift. Holding the core tight so your ribs don't arch or pop out. Your standing leg should be turned out. Five, four, three, two. Again, you're starting to feel the glue of the standing leg. One, and we go reverse curtsy, ground back mount to the side. And one, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight. One more eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
eight, and rest. Great thing about doing all these workouts standing on one leg, you're not just working your glutes, but you're working all these smaller muscles around your lower leg as well. So go ahead and take a second position, and arms out to the side. Second position, up to passe and hold. Second, hold. Same thing exactly, but on the other side. Remember, you're springing off your foot to shift your weight to the standing leg. We're going to go five more. Five, four, three. The so standing leg you should be feeling. Two, one. Hold. Take the leg back to a curtsy, up to passe. Curtsy, passe. When the arms come up, think of keeping the ribs pulled down towards your pubic bone. Standing leg is working, not just glutes, lower leg muscles, all your stabilizers of the leg. Five more of these, four, three, two, one, kick, grand butt maw, curtsy, out, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one more eight, one, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Relax. Take a forward roll stretch now. Let your back muscles lengthen, your head and neck muscles relax. Hang your head and nod your head yes, shake your head no. Slowly roll up one vertebra at a time. You may feel a little out of breath doing these. You're going up and down, up and down, which does create a little bit of an increase in the heart rate. So let's go ahead and get to our mats now. I'm going to lie down on the side. And you can lie down any way you like, either with the arm bent making a pillow or a straight arm or up like this if you prefer. You're going to bend your knees so that your feet are in line with your bottom and the rest of the spine. And just start with a little clam, so a little opening of the top leg. You want to make sure that you keep your hip bones completely stacked. So, if you want, you could put your hand there on the top of your hip to stop it from moving. Or just imagine that you've got like a drink sitting here and you don't want to spill the drink. This is one of, the clams are great because they're one of the few exercises where you can really work your glute without involving your hamstring or your lower back. So it really works it in isolation. And the glutes are really important muscles, not just for tone, but for general health, uh, lower back stability, pelvic stability when you're walking. And quite often they can be a little bit inhibited or switched off from sitting too long at the desk. Keep a soft connection in your core, nothing that's making you not breathe normally, just a little bit of connection there. Do three more, three, two, one. Okay, lift your feet a little bit now, but keep the knee down. When you open, you're gonna feel like you've got a freer leg that you can open wider. And that's why it's going to feel a little bit stronger because you're just opening just that little bit extra range. Let's do four more. Four, three, two, hold. Now we're going to stretch the leg up, spiral it out, bend the knee and close, fold the legs together. So we open, 
stretch, bend, close. Open, stretch, bend, close. Open. Keep this turned out as you stretch. Don't let the leg roll in. You want to feel like it's spiraling outward in the socket. And close. Open, stretch, bend, close. Open, stretch, bend, close. Three more. You should really feel your bottom by now. And you're going to want to rock your hips back, but try and keep the stack as much as you can. Otherwise, you won't hit the right muscle. Last time. Up, stretch, bend, close. Lower the bottom leg, lift the top leg. By now, this should be really burning. You're just going to lift halfway, uh, sorry, all the way up and halfway down. All the way up, halfway down. So it's like little pulses, but without turning the leg up. So keep your leg parallel to the top leg. One, two, three, four, five. Hang in there. Six, seven, one more eight, and one, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and rest. We can give that a little bit of a rub. And we're gonna go over and do the other side. So swing your legs round and just go ahead and make yourself comfortable again on this side. Make sure that your feet and your bottom and your spine are in the same line and core muscles just gently connected. You're gonna open the top knee and close. This leg should feel fresh. The other leg is nicely resting. Open, close, open, close. And keep the feet heavy on top of each other while your drink is still sitting here. So with these clam exercises, what you're doing also is disassoci disassociating your leg from your pelvis, and your pelvis is this area here, and usually we like to move it all as one, like that. So you try and move the leg, but keep the pelvis absolutely still. Keep your hip bones. Let's go five more of these. Five, and four, three, two, one. Okay, go ahead and lift your feet a little bit, and exhale, we're gonna open and close. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, another eight. Exhale, open one, two, three. Just moving the leg in isolation. Four, five, six. Remember the knee stays down. Seven, eight. Now we go. We open, stretch, and spiral the leg out. Bend and close. Inhale, open, stretch and roll it out. Bend, close. Open, stretch, bend, close. Open, stretch, bend, and close. Open, stretch, bend, close. Three more. Open, stretch, bend, close. Two more. Inhale, exhale, inhale. Exhale and lift your, lower your bottom leg, lift your top leg so it's parallel to the bottom leg and little pulses up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, another eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and rest. Okay, so now, we're gonna roll over on our front so that the elbows are directly underneath the shoulders. And then curl your toes back. So you're pressing down into your elbows, come up onto your knees, and feel free to stay in this position if you want to in a half plank. If you wanna do the full plank, you're gonna straighten the legs and hold. You wanna be in best posture here, without letting your bottom drop too low or your head hang typical one is the head hanging. Think of a drink sitting on the back of your neck so that it is in line with the spine because we do forget that our neck is part of the spine. We're going to rock forward and back. Forward, back. Rock forward towards your toes, then calf stretch. Forward. You have to stay like a dart with your spine. 
not letting the bottom go up and down. You just stay nice and long. You're working your core muscles as well as your upper body here. Five, four, three, two, one. Rest. Okay, while you're here now, you're gonna take a frog position. So we're going back to glutes while you're resting your arms. You're gonna take your heels together and your knees apart, and you're gonna think of pressing your pubic bone into the ground. As you press your pubic bone into the ground, squeeze your heels together really, really tight, and lift your knees ever so slightly off the ground. Squeezing, hold this position, for five, you should feel all these muscles in the glutes and hamstrings, a little bit of your lower back as well. Two, one, and relax. You're gonna do that again. Bend the knees, squeeze your heels together. It's important you press the pubic bone down so you're not lifting your hip bones. Pubic bone down, squeeze the heels and lift. Holding. You wanna work your upper back and mid back Feel free to take your hands under your forehead and lift the whole extension, the whole spine up. Try to really lift your knees off the mat. Squeezing your heels together ever so tight. Five, four, three, two, one. Rest. Coming up back to plank now. This time we're going to work a little bit more in the arms during the plank position, so take your plank one more time. This one you can definitely feel free to keep your knees down. We're going to press the hand down, then the left arm comes up, right arm comes down, left arm comes up. So you go hand, hand, elbow, elbow. Always leading with the right hand, because then we're going to switch. Keep going with the right. Hand, hand, elbow, elbow. Right hand, left hand, right elbow, left elbow. Try not to swing your hips from side to side too much. You will do a little bit, but you don't want to overdo it. Hand, hand, elbow, elbow, hand, hand, elbow. Other side now, switch to left. Take a break if you need to. Left, right, left, right, left, right, left. Right. Keeping your alignment strong. Three more. And relax. Rest your head again on your hands. And now you're going to energize the leg, lift one leg up. As you exhale, inhale, take it down. Exhale, lift the other leg up, take it down. When you're lifting the leg up, you want it to really lift from your glute muscle. So your glute muscle, remember, is the muscle of your bottom. And you don't want to arch your back or bend your knee at all. So even with the hamstring, the back of your thigh, you want to feel like you're using your upper portion of it that links to your rear glute. not the lower portion that makes us bend the knee. Fairly easy, that's more of a level one exercise. So now we're gonna change it to the level two version. You energize both legs up, start to do little, little kicking, making sure that your knees are not bending whatsoever. There are little flutter kicks, but pretend you have no knee joints, it's just all one bone. Kick, 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 and your glutes should feel like they're starting to go on fire right now. Really, really small flutter kicks. If you want to add a little bit more mid and upper back, reach the arms forward and swim. So this is just like you're swimming. Kicking with the arms, kicking with the legs. They're trying to keep the back somewhat still. And five, four, 
three, two, one, hold and relax. Last plank variation. Now we come up onto the elbows again. We come up to plank. This time squeeze your feet together. And you're going to think about sitting down on one side, but you change your mind in the last minute, you come back up again. So you roll your hips over to one side as if you're going to sit down, but you don't. So you swing your hips from side to side and let your feet sort of roll. This is going to work your oblique muscles at the waist. Of course, your upper body is still working. Don't let your head drop down as you get tired. Remember, the greater the load, the greater your, the learning of your body. So if you're doing tough exercise, that's the most important time to think of good posture and good form, because that's when your body and brain is cementing this posture the most. If you train with poor form, chances are you finish your training and your posture is just that little bit worse. If you train with good form, it's going to be better. Five more. Five, four, three. This feels quite nice on the spine as well. One, and relax. Okay, last back exercise is the swimming breaststroke now. Have your legs a little bit apart. You're gonna breathe out, stretch your arms as if you're in the swimming pool. You're gonna come around and take a breath. Exhale, dive into the pool again. Inhale, take the arms around and breathe. Exhale, dive forward. Inhale. Working the mid and upper back. And you're trying to come up nice and high, lengthening the crown of the head forward, away from your toes. Let's do four more. Four. Three. Two and one and relax. Push back to a shell stretch now or a child's pose, whatever you want to call it. It's this position. Okay, come up to all fours. Do a cat stretch where you're rounding the back. And as you inhale, extend and look forward. Exhale, curve the back. Inhale, look forward and extend. Should feel nice on the spine after holding yourself still for long in the um, ballet. And then we're gonna do a pigeon stretch or swan stretch. You take your knee open, slide your leg back, and then you come down onto your elbows. Make sure your hips feel centered so you're feeling the stretch in your glute that you've worked quite hard today. And this stretch is very freeing on the lower back and the sacroiliac joint. So if you do suffer from any mild back pain, this is a good stretch to just hold and try and free your spine up. Okay, let's go ahead and change legs. So bring yourself back up again. Take your other leg across, open the knee, slide your leg back, and then come down onto your elbows. Feel the weight sink straight down the center, so you feel the stretch in your glutes. Okay, we're coming back up. Now we're gonna do one last stretch before we finish. This is called a frog stretch. You're gonna open the knees as wide as you can with your feet together, and then come down onto your elbows. And then, separate your feet a little bit. You go into a deeper stretch. Once you're here, rock forward and back a little bit forward, 
and back, just trying to find the spot where it's the most tight or where you feel most stretch. Hold where you feel the most stretch. Try and get comfortable in this position. And then go ahead and come up again. Bring your feet together. Shift your weight back to your feet into a crouch position. Stretch down. Hang your head heavy. Press down into the feet as you very slowly roll back up again. Nice and slow. All the way back up to standing. Take a big breath. Inhale. And exhale. And breathe in. And breathe out. Take a stretch to the side. And lift to the other side. And lift. And we can go ahead and curtsy to finish as a way of reverencing the end of the workout. And relax. Thank you very much for joining me on this workout. And I hope you feel energized.